So we'll leave it at that point and we will open uh, the floor for questions regarding what we are able to say is that in the initial stages that there was a case we were building now we believe we have built the case and we believe that a premier fascia case has been built that war crimes were committed and that these some of these crimes uh, that we are documenting in Janine and Nablus again form a pattern that is widespread or systematic and that these have reached the level of crimes against humanity When uh, uh, there's any crime committed, crime of war, otherwise, you look at the perpetrators, uh, not just uh, at the person who actually commits the crime, but also at the line of command. What orders were received? What were the, the rules of engagement? There was any cover up? And uh, only a proper tribunal can determine. Once this has been determined, there is no reason why the responsibility has to stop in any particular individual. And therefore, uh, nobody, nobody is above the law. Well, it's not a report that brings much credit to Amnesty, and it's not going to bring much help to the people of the region. Uh, the report describes Israel going into parts of the West Bank as if this happened in a vacuum. But of course, we didn't want to go into these areas. We went in because over the past two years, 650 Israelis have been murdered deliberately by terrorists, while the Palestinian Authority stood aside and did absolutely nothing. Uh, the report ignores this. One gets the impression that if Amnesty International was writing a history of the Second World War, they would start with the Allied bombing of Dresden. There really are dilemmas here for any democracy that is trying to fight terrorists that hold themselves up in schools and in ambulances with no respect for civilian life. But the report completely ignores these dilemmas. <laughs> It is very important report, and we hope that uh, the committee of the four will put it in their uh, uh, consideration and the top of their uh, uh, agenda in the next meeting, which is a very important meeting to face this uh, escalation of military uh, escalation against our. Uh, people against our cities, against our towns, against our uh, refugee camps. And this uh, siege, as you see, very dangerous, this humiliation on all the checkpoints. Who can, uh, who can accept this all over the world? Amnesty is an organization that tries to create, I mean, a call for a better world, but they are not a court and no judges, and whatever they are being said should be considered very carefully.